and the Queen of Blades. Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Yes? Hello and welcome to Feedbackula, the show that's recently been praised with such comments as Please quit your job and never attempt to work in the video game industry ever again. Urgh, this house stinks of pseudo-intellectualism. And This guy's got Capcom's d*** so far up his ass, I can almost see the money falling out his mouth. If I was getting butt-shunted full of money, Extreme Name 62, would I have been living off packet ramen for the last week? No, didn't think so. Now, on with the show. This week, we're all about the lovely, shiny, pre-rendered visuals. Blizzard released a campaign trailer recently for StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm, along with the opening cinematic. The video, teasing the Zerg campaign, comes complete with voiceover from the Queen of Blades, a buttload of siege tanks, and some highly questionable tactics from a lone Viking. Yeah, that was never gonna work, was it, tool? Now, the more eagle-eared among you probably noticed Blizzard snuck the Wilhelm scream into the trailer. We know you did, actually, because you commented on it. No Wilhelm scream for you! Loved it until I heard that cheap-ass sound effect at 144. I have heard this yell sound effect in so many movies, it's driving me crazy! One errant sound effect and the entirety of StarCraft 2 is ruined for Tricky Sky. Let that be a warning to you developers. Talking of noticing things, props to JPIC Nurse for spotting the Blizzard team hiding out in a flash frame at the very start of the intro cinematic. There they are having a lovely beer look! Anyone catch the Blizzard team at nine seconds? Pretty hard to stop at the exact moment. Pretty hard to stop at the exact moment. If I had a pound for every time I'd heard that, well, let's just say my legal costs would be entirely less daunting each year. Now, it would have to be said that comments on the two trailers were refreshingly positive, with plenty of people excited for Heart of the Swarm and no shortage of people begging Blizzard to get into movie production, though not everyone managed to remain positive. Blizzard need to start making movies instead. Blizzard and Bethesda, with their new ESO clip, just need to start making CGI movies of their own. They would make a killing in sales if done to these cinematic standards they put out. Amazing! Make a movie, villain! There just needs to be a StarCraft movie. They make these amazing trailers and they still don't make a movie for StarCraft? Goddamn Bliss still kick ass in cinematics. They games are sucking though. No, they games... amped. <laughs> After excitement for the expansion, though, it has to be said the biggest theme in the comments on Heart of the Swarm was one of mistrust. We may be short on a lot of things on this show, a budget for a decent presenter, for example, but people who feel Blizzard are traitors is not one of those things. All trust and faith in Blizzard vanished after Diablo 3. I think they're going to be disappointed with this game's sales considering the general discontent with Wings of Liberty. Only Blizzard game worth buying after the D3 WoW fiasco. The guys at Blizzard do know how to make good cinematics, smiley face. But let's face it, they should have released StarCraft 2 with all the three campaigns in it. Now they shamelessly make us pay three times for one game. Blizzard has caught the gold fever after WoW. Cinematics, the only thing that actually Blizzard knows. If it's good, they should buy it. If it's not, they shouldn't. But after the endless fiasco, splitting SC2 into three parts, all $60 each, and the epic fail that is Diablo 3, people should be more cautious, is what I say. Taunting it, F your blizzard for D3. Now, I think we can all agree, after the lengthy wait for Diablo 3, it didn't exactly have the smoothest of landings. There were server woes at the initial launch, and a lot of people felt the gameplay was a little underwhelming. The online marketplace also put a few people's noses out of joint, but is Diablo 3 alone enough to put a whole group of people off everything Blizzard produce? Seemingly so, and it's not just happening to them. Capcom is another prime example. On Disc DLC continues to haunt the publisher, and as we saw last week, there are lots of people who are angry with them for DMC Devil May Cry. They sound like this. This is bullshit. 
Bring back the real Dante, not this wet cern bastardized version. Why change a cool ass kicking character for one that is over the top with profanity, looks like a druggie, and retains nothing that made the original so awesome? Thanks for ruining my favourite video game series, Crapcom! Though on the other hand, there are still people claiming we gave too low a score to Resident Evil 6. They sound like this. <laughs> Now, I'm by no means saying that developers shouldn't be held accountable for their mistakes or for any bad games they happen to release. That's just common sense. But writing off the entire company and everything they produce forevermore on account of one sour title just seems counterintuitive. Look at it this way. Steven Spielberg is generally accepted to be a pretty bloody good film director. Nobody shunned him because he went temporarily insane and directed Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull now, have they? This is incredible. Unreal. Don't touch anything. You know what? Actually sod that analogy. F you, Spielberg, you franchise-ruining tit hammer. Anyway, horse untraitor to Indiana Jones, Steven Spielberg aside, I guess what I'm trying to say is that gamers don't forget a slight easily. Which is kind of understandable if they put money into purchasing something only to feel like they've been deceived or that the publisher had failed to deliver on their promises. Perhaps they bear grudges longer than is truly necessary, but hey, they're a passionate bunch. And it's that same passion that gets them saying stuff like this. This made my pants tight. Question, has Rainer got some action from her yet? I'm starting to pity the dude. As someone who doesn't play Zerg at all, I feel sincerely boned in the ass. The Viking? Seriously, though? He got any chance to take down and ultralisk? Bitch, please! Legacy of the Void Toss win the war, enough said. Gosh, I love this game! I just will not spend $30 on a game with only three races. I love almost everything else about the game, though. All they have to do is add two extra races just for multiplayer that have nothing to even do with the story, or they can add a side story to include them, and I'll gladly buy the game. Oh hey Blizzard, just expand the size of your game by two thirds while making sure it's still well balanced. That's all you have to do and then I'll happily drop half retail price on it. That is a veritable sh ton of work. People are funny. Blizzard made SE1, 2, WoW, 1, 2, 3 WoW online with all expansions D1 and 2, all great games. And they F up on one game called D3 and people have the right to say that Blizzard is losing its touch. How people have such short memories is beyond me. Are you all perfect? I think not, and I believe a mess up here and there is expected. Give their teams a break and enjoy what they make. I don't see many of you learning how to make great games. So until you do, sit at front door. P.S. I love SC12 and all expansions so far. Can't wait! This might look wrong, but I actually think Kerrigan is hot in a Queen of Blades form. Fake! I laughed when I saw a Viking land to shoot an Ultra. Obviously troll new playing Terran. Do you know any good RTS on console? Ha! Great joke, bro. Anyway, that's all we got time for for this episode in what's actually been a rather civilised week on GameSpot. We've seen people get excited for Heart of the Swarm, people who feel Blizzard stung them too badly to be trusted again, and some people who hung around to talk about whether or not Rayna has stuck it in the Queen of Blades. I kind of expected something stranger to happen this week. Uh, Johnny, we've got Steven Spielberg's lawyer on the phone. He says he's suing you for libel? Yep, that'll do it. Also, the post office called. They said they're angry that you didn't endorse them last week. <sighs>